In the wee hours of Sunday, traders at the largest open-air market watched helplessly as their property was being consumed by fire. According to the traders, the fire broke out late in the night and they were not able to salvage anything from the inferno. Hakuna kitu nimeza kuokoa, vitu vyote vimechomeka, viti masufuria, vyombo utenso zisiota zimechomeka, na sasa tujutu na helekea wapi, niko na mtoto kole nchi hata siyo. Asare nye iko hapa ni asara kubwa ni ya mamilioni ya pesa. E, si asara ya pesa tunaweza kisia. Ni asara ya mamilioni ya pesa. Kwa sababu hapa wafanyi biashara wako wenye wana nguvu zao. Nikikadiria hata milioni kumi naweza fika kulingamana na huu moto. In Baringo County, the tourism industry is gearing up for a boom in light of recent migration of millions of flamingos to Lake Bongoria. The birds perched on the alkaline lake ahead of the schedule compared to previous years where they have been known to flock the area during the months of May and July for breeding. I have an estimate of almost a, almost a million number of birds at the moment, which is they arrived the other day. And if you try to see, they are all mature because they are all pink in color. Meanwhile, Laikipia North Member of Parliament Sarah Lekorere has questioned the measures put by the government in tackling the locust invasion. Lekorere says even with information, little has been done to contain the spread of the swarms. <laughs> Well, in Embu County, farmers have been forced to harvest their produce so as to reduce the losses caused by the locust invasion in the area. Mbere South MP Geoffrey Kingani has, however, lauded the swift response by the Minister of Agriculture to spray the affected areas. Jana usiku wa melala wa kiharvest. Na lewa subu ya mamuka kwa hiyo kazi, wengine wana harvest, wengine wanafukuza zige. Wasichoke, takwa shukuna mchichoke. Meanwhile, in Nakuru County, the Kikuyu and Kalenjin Council of Elders have now planned countrywide meetings to sensitize Kenyans on peace ahead of the 2022 general elections. The group will traverse various areas in the country regarded as hotspots to urge Kenyans to maintain peace at all times. Lengo letu moja na maana zaidi ni amani. Tumeongea zaidi kuhusu amani. Kwa sababu tunajua ya kwamba bila amani, hata atuge fika hapa na Ivasha. Bila amani, Hakuna mtu anaweza fanya kazi biashara yote hata kama ni ya shilingi tano. And in Garissa, residents have called on the security apparatus to move with speed and apprehend those behind the recent terror incidents in the area. The locals want police to pursue their attackers if it means crossing over to Somalia to get them. Wa Kenya tuamuke, tushikane mkono, bega kwa bega, tuzuie hii adui ambao wana gombanisha sisi wa islamu na wa kirisa wanataka kugombanisha awana dini wawo, wanasema wanafata dini, awana dini wakonae. Finally, Kiambu Town Member of Parliament Jude Njomo says Kenyans should team up with security apparatus to tame the runway insecurity. Njomo, who handed over a chief's camp constructed through CDF, said leaders should enhance efforts of the national government on security matters. Makweli kumekua na changamoto ya usalama, kumekua na incidents katha za insecurity. Na tunaona sasa vile polisi wa metukaribia. Now, Pia, to a party accommodation about him, Zuri. Suleimanieri, Channel One News.